Moving to the tenth round, we'll crochet a set of four single crochet stitches followed by one single crochet increase stitch, and again four single crochet stitches, creating six sets in total, which will bring us to 60 stitches by the end of the round. Let's go through the process here. Begin with a chain stitch. Crochet four single crochet stitches. Then one single crochet increase stitch. And crochet four more single crochet stitches. I will demonstrate one more set, and the rest you will complete by yourself. After completing the round, remove the stitch marker and perform a slip stitch, and with that, our round is finished. For rounds 11 to 18, we'll crochet a consistent pattern of 60 single crochet stitches without any increases or decreases, ending each round with 60 stitches. I'll give a quick demonstration. Begin with a chain stitch and then crochet one single crochet. Two single crochet stitches, three single crochet stitches, and continue this way until the 18th round. Please complete these rounds on your own here. After finishing, remove the stitch marker, perform a slip stitch at the marked position, and this round is complete. Now let's crochet the 19th round. In this round, we'll have a set of four single crochet stitches followed by one single crochet decrease stitch, and again four single crochet stitches, repeating this sequence to make six sets, ending with a total of 54 stitches. Let me demonstrate. Start with a chain stitch. Crochet four single crochet stitches. Then make one single crochet decrease stitch. Watch as I show you. A complete stitch is made up of a V shape. To decrease, we'll hook only the outer loop of the V ear. Insert the hook under the outer loop of the first stitch. Then pick up the outer loop of the next stitch. Wrap the yarn and pull it through the first two loops. Then wrap the yarn again and pull through the remaining two loops. This completes our single crochet decrease stitch. Yeah. Continue to crochet four single crochet stitches. And complete the rest on your own here. Yeah. After finishing, remove the stitch marker and perform a slip stitch, concluding this round. Yeah. For the 20th round, we will crochet a sequence of seven single crochet stitches followed by one single crochet decrease stitch, repeating this for six sets, ending with 48 stitches. Start with a chain stitch. Crochet seven single crochet stitches.
Then make one single crochet decrease stitch. Please finish the rest of the round by yourself. After completing the round, remove the stitch marker, make a slip stitch, and with that, this round is completed. For the 21st round, we will crochet 48 half double crochet stitches into the front loops only FLO, ending with a total of 48 stitches. Let me show you. Start with a chain stitch. Observe how to crochet into the front loop. Each complete stitch forms a V shape. For FLO crocheting, we work into the part of the V that is closest to us, which is the part I'm pointing to. Here. Crochet one half double crochet stitch. Here. Watch carefully, wrap the yarn around the hook once, then insert the hook into the FLO. Pull through, and you will have three loops on your hooker. Wrap the yarn and pull through all three loops at once. Completing the half double crochet stitch. Continue with the second and third stitches. Always working into the front loop closest to us here. Please complete the rest on your own here. Then remove the stitch marker, perform a slip stitch, and this round is finished here. Leave a 4 cm tail of yarn, hide the end with a tapestry needle, and cut the yarn to finish here. The pot is now crocheted here. 